Hello, welcome to Random Battles 54. Here at 2221. We've got Mabostif into Magirna. Scarf Madoss. Blah, blah. Scarf Mabostif, not bad, but into Magirna, not good. So we do have Pachirisu. We have, we have options here. Now I'm assuming this thing is like Shift Gear Calm Mind. Unfortunately, no haze. I mean, what about just like ah, we we can't breathe, breathe, which isn't great. Hmm, I'm trying to think. How to like not lose? I'm gonna go lantern for now. I'm gonna go for the T wave, I think. If they immediately tear ground, that'd be crazy. But they don't. Thank God. Okay, Whiskash out. Um, if they go crazy with spikes, I have Kragonal later. I'm gonna go Braviary now and try to bulk up with them. Because the key here is that I'm gonna die. <laughs> I forgot they get Stone Edge. Fuck. Yeah, fuck me, dude. That was poor. Don't really have a switch in either. Do we have retaliate? No. I think I. I mean, do I though? I, I can roost up later. This is not a great position though. Uh, I think we just accepted the loss. Damn, Whiskash of all things. Whiskash Magirna, kind of scary. Boats, surprisingly potent set. I mean, okay, Magirna's not surprising. Whiskash is. And the problem is Mabasa here is way too weak. It's like, shockingly weak. I think he needs Kazama Zent already. Jesus. And we are slower, and I don't want to get hit by Earthquake. I'm going to... I have to do this, I think. This thing is too hard. Like, look, that did so much damage. Oh my god. We can live now in body press. Oh my god, dude. One Dragon Dance from Whiskash in it. I'm just getting dumpstered. Shh, that is so much. Well, time to see if they have something faster than Zamazenta. Which is pretty likely. Oh, they have Inteleon. My god. Okay, yeah, we, we'll go Lantern here. Get off our T Wave. Please don't have another ground type. At least we have Lantern and Intel er, and uh, the other guy to deal with that. Okay, Scovillain shows up. Is this a Pachirisu moment? I think so. Because now if they try to sub up, I can Encore them. Okay, they choose to hit me a Flamethrower instead. Uh, this, is not, this is not great. Yeah, we really don't do that much damage, though. Lantern is uh, letting me down right now. I feel like my team's just quite weak, damage output-wise. Like, Mabasif, sure, it outsped the Whiskash there, but, man, it was going to do no damage, even with its crunch. Okay, we get off a Scald and they heal like everything. And Kragonal can't, who can spin, can't do its flamethrower. Uh, this, this is annoying. I don't think, Lantern's not the guy for the job here. 
Yeah, that's a good double seed for them. Lantern's too fat and gives them too much health. So I think the plan right now is to um, Super Fang die to Flamethrower. Now they can be killed by surely something, right? Right? Um, unclear. This is why me and I having a weak ass team struggling this much to kill half health Scovillain. I can't do it. The squad is not it, dude. He exerts pressure with like everything he brings out. And we take that much from Flamethrower. Okay, well, Scovillain's dead, but. You gotta think Magirna is coming out soon, right? No, they actually go Porygon. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Lantern for now, I guess. I'm gonna go Lantern and um, Cry. We'll get a T wave off at least. Well, hopefully. Okay, T wave and Porygon, we get the full pair, which is something. I mean, the problem is not what. <laughs> Again, I this team doesn't do damage. Like I'm gonna have to let Lantern die here and then go to Zamazenta. My saving grace here is that they're not guaranteed to do anything at least. For what it's worth. Now, if they just go, like, Terra Ghost, I, th I think it's over. Well, no. Okay, they do have a Ghost still, though. I'm gonna go Mabasif immediately, as they go into back into Porygon. Mm hmm. So, you know everything they have. I don't think Mabasif is gonna win this. I don't think I'm gonna win this period. Let's be real here. Okay, so we get that at least. It's something. I think I just lose to Sarah Ledge no matter what, right? Yeah, I don't, I'm just gonna go and forfeit. I know I can't win that. It's actually unwinnable. The reason being, Kragonol can never break Porygon. And I can't even freeze it. Wow, what a weak team. I know I've said that a lot, but that, was, that team was bad. That was a bad team. Zamazenta was the only thing it had going for it, really. And, like, the matchup was not good. Like, I just had no super effective hits going on. Okay, I'll collect myself here. Hopefully we'll get something a bit more reasonable this time around. Whenever that may occur. Okay, what have we got? Heracross against Luxray. It's Guts, Luxray. Could be the same for Heracross, honestly. Um, I think I go Noivern here immediately. Resist the stabs. Okay, they knock us off, which is annoying. But I can go ahead and just Hurricane. I think knockoff means it won't be able to trailblaze. I think it's stab. Well, I don't know. It could be a few things. I do have to be wary of Noivern losing its boots, though. Because Noivern is the hazard control here. Okay. Terra normal. And, okay, we missed, which sucks. But already? That seems premature. Uh huh. 
Interesting. Huh, now what? I could go right on. Or does Luxury live a hit? Luxury does live a hit, technically. But I like Luxury as a sweeper for later. Um, I could go right on to weaken it. Hit with a big earthquake. I live a close combat. And then Fionn can finish it off. I think that's the idea here. Oh, they have Trailblaze. They do have Trailblaze. So close combat incoming. I mean, we still have the same plan. Rhydon's going to die here. Or maybe we go Luxury now. I mean, we do live the hit. We can save Fionn for a better opportunity. Or maybe go Deancey. I think we're going to go Deancey here. I want to keep all my sweepers around. And I'll use my defensive guy defensively. Okay, so we take the hit. Heracross down. They have no Terra, but my team is a little pretty beat up from that. And fortunately for them, I did not have something was like that was fast and could close combat. Like, I, d I don't agree with that play. They just had, like, no information on my team, but it worked out to an extent. Okay, Basket Legion shows up. We'll just let Deancey go. Actually, they... Oh, that killed. So I think that means it's Specs. Yeah, it has to be Specs. I mean, I could p p pull out the Terra Normal Lux, right? But we also have, like, Fionn stuff. I mean, we have Frozmoth too. I'm gonna go Frozmoth. I want to get more info on their team. Yeah, okay, there's Float Soul. If this thing is banded, I'm just gonna die, and I can't really do a whole lot about it. I mean, I, no, I go Fionn here. I go Fionn. What are your leftovers? Okay. So I don't auto lose. Okay. So we have a couple water types in front of us. Fion looking pretty good for the moment. Um, Plusle comes out though. Thunderbolt hurts a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Hmm, I think ultimately I, I do like Terra Normal Luxray. Let's just Scald here. Okay, Nasty Plot goes off. We're just gonna have to take it here. Frostmoss can take one. Okay, Luring Voice out. I assume he's just going to hit me. That's what I want. Yeah. Um, now we just have to send it with Luxray. Okay, so we take out Floatzel here. We'll just go on Trailblaze. In case they get like cheeky and go to a Basque Legion. Well, it's on Luxray now. Luxray has to one shot everything. Which I mean, it does one shot Basque Legion, but I die to this. Damn. They just had something ready. See, like, why couldn't I have that for the damn Heracross? That is unfortunate. I had to take so much from that Heracross so early. 
And they had the strong priority to finish me off. Yeah. Um, I didn't... I'm not sure what I could have done there, really. I guess I could have immediately tried to scrap with... Like, if I... Trailblaze was Luxury off the bat. I guess that's what I should have done, apparently. I feel like they didn't play that well, but they had such a good matchup that it didn't matter. Like, Float Soul could always come in on the... The Frost Moth, etc. Okay. We guarantee live, whatever they do, because we have Focus Ash. We get a Sticky Web. Which is fortunate because our team is pretty slow. So I'm going to do that. We go ahead and Lava Plume me. I'm just going to slow him down here. Pop the Balloon. Maybe I should have Taunted first. Um, I, I just knock off here. You've done your jobs. I mean, Italian can immediately threaten something. And uh, I'll just go for Scald. Okay, they have Walking Wake. We do get a burn, which is pretty nice. We can go Vaporeon on this guy. Yep, we ruined its life. Um, let's go ahead and call Mind Up here. Okay, they do have Sunflora. Um, I'm gonna protect one turn, see what this is. I wanna scout it. Okay, it's, it's something. Okay, right now, the villain looking really strong. I'll go get Dragalge on the Iron Leaves here. Is Life Orb so I die? The Psyblade. Probably should have just gone Bronzong immediately. But either way, I can just Iron Defense here, right? Oh, is Heatran... Let me do some math here. Um, Two-thirds of 167... I think it's just going to barely be faster than me, right? Um, I'm trying to think here. What does body press straight up? Yeah, we get Heatran. This thing... Yeah, it is faster than me. But I can go Vapor on it, always. And can just throw out a Scald. Yep, and now we can go back to Bronzong. Leaf Blade crits. This still doesn't do that much damage. Might want to just rest up here. Mm, no, we don't let we don't let him get anything free here. Cause this, so this guy has specs. I'm gonna rest up. I was about to say, there's no way it's going to flamethrower, which is me going Vaporeon constantly. And we'll just body press. Okay, Sunflower comes out. I don't think this thing can hit me, right? Well, we actually don't know what it is yet. Go ahead and Iron Head. Could flinch it, yep. <laughs> okay, Bronzong is just going to totally oppress the Sunflora. I'm on the other side of the coin now, where it feels like I'm making progress really easily, whereas I'm not sure what they should be doing to deal with this. Okay, well, Draco does quite a bit still. Okay, they, they go for the second, meaning I can wish up now. Yep, live that. I don't care if they go Iron Leaves for free, because I got to heal up Vaporeon. Yep. Okay, so they're going kind of for an endgame here. But we can take a close combat and return fire with Iron Head and kill them. Bronze Song. Doing work. Okay, 
Okay, so Heat Train and Walking Waker. Very low. I think I'll let Bronze Song do. You've done your work. And uh, I'll go and Wish Shop here with Vaporeon. They've lost two Grass types. Decent chance they can't deal with Vaporeon at some point here. Or perhaps they can. Terra Ghost might be worth it. But then again, the villain still looking so strong. We'll heal up. Okay, they go for Ice Punch. Will they do it again? No, they go for the Double Shock this time. I'm fine with losing Dragology, I think. Yeah, because they do that. But um, I can come clean up with Inteleon. Going for Hydro Pump here, because Skull just about a coin flip to kill. Now, if I lose Inteleon, that'll suck. Okay, they go Heatran. Walking Wake comes out. It's just looking for a miss. And promptly gets it. Okay. But we do have the villain. This is a Quiver Dance setup for free. So now Pawmot. And Seviper. They still have their Terra, right? Yeah. I mean, there's no point for me going to our ground already. Now I can do it. Okay, they, they wake up turn one, miss. I mean, we would have lived that. And we take a win. Okay. Let's go for... Probably just one more, I think. Because uh, that's three games. Maybe two. We'll see. I said last episode, I'll say it again. I'm terrible at keeping track of time when doing this. So I, I don't know how long this is. I don't know if this is something that should end at four or go to five. But into our next battle... We are Assault Vest, as I learned from them learning before I actually know what I am. We do have Tentacruel, though. And Roaring Moon also deals with Typhlosion long term. I'm gonna go Tentacruel now, though. As much as I would love to just knock this thing off and, like, you know, maybe remove the threat of Eruption forever, there's no point in doing that yet. Yeah, okay. So they'd go for that. I'm just gonna sludge bomb here. They're not gonna stay in. Okay, they're Claude Sire. I wish I had surfed just so I could know what this is. I mean, they went in against Tentacruel, so I have to think it's Water Absorb, which is probably better for my team overall. Now, unfortunately, no spikes. I'm just gonna go Lorantis for now. And uh, we'll just hit a Leaf Storm. And die. Jeez. Um, can I kill this? The answer is no. I feel like uh, I'm playing scared of water absorb, but I really don't know. I 
I'm gonna meteor mash into this. It's a little risky, but I mean, I don't know, dude. This quad sire is a problem. We get the attack raise, and we promptly die. I think I have to go Roaring Moon already. Oh, but I don't want to go Roaring Moon already. Okay, I'm, f I'm figuring out if this thing is bluffing me or not. Oh, fuck. It is Water Absorb? You're joking, dude. Ah! I'm fucking up really badly right now. I'm at least gonna taunt this thing. So at least I know I can kind of set up against it. Hey, my chance gonna be kind of doing jack shit though, and we get the poison. Not good. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna hope that Roaring Moon can sweep their entire team because my. Not only is my team garbage against Clodsire in general, but, like, ah, oh, it just had to be water absorbed in it. Yeah, all I can do is keep it low now. Keep it taunted. Okay, well, uh, here goes nothing with Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon and a Tentacruel in the back. Versus the world. Go for Terror Flying Acrobatics. We'll probably kill. Oh no. Okay, luckily they went for an Earthquake there. So, uh, okay, Clodstar is down. Yay. It only took half of my team dying. And they have Cloister. Now we do outspeed this if it chooses to Shell Smash. So I'm going to hope they make a huge mistake here. They did not. You got this, Tentacruel. No way they have something that can kill me. Please don't attack. Alright, we live the Earthquake. This doesn't even kill. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna call it there. I'm a little tilted. This is an annoying session. It happens to the happens to the best of us. If you're still with me, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.